Hi everybody, this is Irma from Food for Healthy Bones, and this video is an in response to a survey that I sent out to thousands of my readers asking, what is the single biggest challenge that you have feeding your bones mineral and calcium rich foods? And guess what the response was? People wanted to look in my pantry. But before I go there, I have to tell you a secret. Come here, come here. I don't really like to cook. Now, I've been cooking for my bones since I was diagnosed in 2005 in, with osteopenia and feeding my skelly over here, but I really don't like to cook. So here's what happened. When I first made my attempt at cooking, I was very excited. I was working on Wall Street and I had my colleagues over for dinner and I cooked and cooked all day long. I cooked a beef bourguignon and I was so proud of myself. They got to the table, they sat down, they were very excited to eat it. They put the spoon to the mouth and they thought and said, Irma, it tastes like dog food. So, I, you know, I've really had to climb my way up to learn about how to feed my bones. It wasn't my first desire. Anyway, enough said about that. Let's go into my pantry. Here's what I have on a regular basis. So, for example, I have really good fat. This is an olive oil that I have, but it's organic, it's cold pressed, and it's unfiltered. This happens to be from Tunisia. Uh, and then the other fat that I use is a coconut oil. This is from Thrive. These are two very important fats that I have in my diet and in my pantry. The other thing that I have is uh, Mary's Gone Crackers. I mean, because she's sort of like me. I met Mary, she's a really cool chick. And I use these if I have hummus or things of that nature. Um, and then some of the other things that I have. I have here, I have local honey. I have local honey because I get a little allergy attack and this helps me if I have a, sp a half a spoon of honey, local honey, organic, raw, in my hot water with lemon, I start feeling a little bit better. Let's see what other things I have here for you. Okay, we're gonna be talking about breakfast. So steel cut oats, if I soak these at night, throw off the water and then cook them in the morning, I'll cook them for about 20 minutes and then I'll have my oatmeal. I will put into that oatmeal nutmeg and Salon cinnamon. This is a very, very important cinnamon. This helps with blood sugar and it also is anti-inflammatory fabulous stuff. And then I have in my pantry, typically cans of beans, so garbanzo. I like Eden. I like Eden for a number of reasons. First of all, they're organic. And these, these cans are BPA free as far as the lining is concerned. It's a number one concern that we have to deal with. It's all the toxins that are coming into our body and then get into our bones. And then in addition, I'll have sardines. Now people say, ugh, I hate sardines. But sardines can be made in such a delicious way if you cut them up and saute with some onions and a little mustard. Fabulous right over a salad. Great, you get good bone, good calcium, and it's a nice quick protein. The other quick protein that I have in my pantry is this wild pink salmon. It is wild, it's from Alaska, and also PBA free. You can buy this on Amazon or you can buy them in health food stores. And if you don't see it, request it. This is a good one to have. Mix it up with a little mayonnaise, maybe a little um, celery or some red peppers. Great to have as a quick go-to. What else do I have? Okay, so here's the thing. I come home from work or I work outside and I'm coming home and I don't feel like cooking, um, but I wanna put something together quickly for my bones. I will make a little miso soup. I'll start with, let me see what I'll start with. I'll start with water, and then I'll add, if I don't have any mushrooms, I will add my dried mushrooms. These mushrooms you could find in health food stores, make sure that they're certified organic, and not from China, okay? These are good to have at all times. And then I will add either my kombu, seaweed, seaweed and bones, really good, really important, calcium and all the minerals, or the wakame. These are from the Pacific, excuse me, the Atlantic coast, not the Pacific coast. We want Atlantic seaweed. And this particular brand, which is Icelandic, I think. Yeah, seaweed from Iceland. It's really, really good. Okay, so I will have my hot water. I'll add my, my dried mushrooms. I'll add my kombu or whatever seaweed I choose. I'll cook it up. And if I have any greens in my refrigerator, I'll throw those in. And then this is also my protein source. I'll put the quinoa in. Quinoa takes a little bit of time to cook. High, high, high in protein and calcium. And then when that's off the burner 
and it's cooled down or it's not at a boiling point, I will add this miso. This miso is one of my favorite, favorite, all time, did I tell you it's my favorite? All time brands, South River Miso. It comes in a glass container. It's made in the United States. This you can add to your soup. You can add it to your stew, your bone broth, or you can add it with your olive oil and apple cider vinegar to make a quick salad dressing. The other miso over here, this one is a zuki bean. These, these are soy free for my estrogen dominant breast cancer survivors who have bone issues. And also this is a chickpea, uh, no soy in that as well. Wonderful, wonderful, full flavor. And if you have a second, go to southrivermiso.com and check it out. Fabulous people. And then I would have, okay, so let's say I want a little afternoon drink, uh, something like a coffee, but not a coffee. This is one of my go-tos, it's called Dandy Blend. So this is a bunch of different, um, this is roasted barley, rye, chicory, root, dandelion, and sugar beet, but they're all non-GMO. So sugar beets typically are GMO. This is a non-GMO product. And then I would put in some cacao. Cacao is magnesium. This is pure cacao. Excellent, excellent for the bones. The bones love this. And it gives a nice little flavor to the dandy mix. I would also add some nutmeg, which I'm looking for and I can't find the nutmeg. The nutmeg, well, you know what nutmeg looks like. Oh, here it is. I would add some nutmeg and then I would also add the cinnamon. And then I have a wonderful afternoon beverage. Okay, so let's say you want something else for your bones and you want some herbal tea infusions. These are a couple of my favorite tea infusions that I would make. These are oat straw tops. You see what they look like? Can you see? This is where oatmeal comes from. But these are, this is the straw tops. You take a handful of these, you put them in boiling water in a big uh, glass jar, and you let them sit overnight for eight hours. That's infusing. And then you take them, take you strain it, and then you drink that all for the next couple of days. It lasts about three to five days in the refrigerator. The other one that I use, horsetail, full of silica. The bones really, really need silica. And then the other option that I have here is red clover. Red clover, if you look outside, I think it's like the spring or summer, you'll see those red clovers. And I don't know if you could see what it looks like, but it's the same thing as a tea infusion. You infuse it the same way. You put a handful in a jar, boiling water, cover it, put it on the counter, let it brew or infuse for eight hours, strain it, and drink it. Now, I'm getting close to the end. Um, I just want to see what else I have here. Oh, this is another brand that I like. Um, they are Sprouted. Sprouted lentils, and these are sprouted mung beans. Sprouted is a fabulous thing because it actually, it brings to life the bean or the lentil. So it, it, you actually see like a little tail come out because it's sprouting, and sprouting brings the life force forward. And that's always good to have. Those are great to make very relatively quickly because these take about, um, 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 I think it's about 10, 8, 48 minutes. All right, so that's fast. And then I would maybe have a little rice on the side, which is also right here. So I'd have my rice and beans, very quick meal, my olive oil and my apple cider vinegar with some miso for my salad dressing. And I have a meal in about... Mm -hmm, I would say 15 minutes. Um, spices are really important to have in your pantry. I have coriander. I love coriander. You can add coriander to your oatmeal. Cardamom. You could add cardamom to your oatmeal if you want to. And then the other one that I have here is cumin. Excellent for your bones. I talk more about these in my spice video, which I'm going to be sharing, but I didn't want to get into the details so much. I wanted to just tell you those basic things to have in your cabinet or in your pantry are good for your skelly. Skeleton that lives in us all. All right, so I think that that should do it. Let me just take a look, make sure I have everything covered. Yes, I did. Okay, so thank you for checking in and thank you so much for responding to my survey because I want to know what you need to feed your bones. Bye for now.